Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are at a park and this is a barbecue. I'll let John explain. All right, so J Bros Cooking Park Edition. This is an idea Joe's had for a while. We kind of did a throwback to it in like one of our earlier videos where Joe showed up at a park when he was by himself. Why we are deciding to finally do this summertime, Phoenix, Arizona, 120 degrees out, I'll never know, but that's what we're doing today. Now, what we're doing today is steaks. We want to see, can we get a good steak on a barbecue grill and at a park? All right, so this is the grill right here. Hmm, zoom out a little bit. This is it, nice and nasty. Get a few pictures of it. Hmm. The other reason why we're doing the park was if you go back to J Bros Cooking ID that review, we decided we wanted to feed someone. We met, uh, who'd we feed? Uh, Fat Jesus. Fat right. Jesus came along. We were kind of like, you know what? We've been wanting to do a park, park edition video. Joe wants to cook on one of their grills. So All right, so let's get this thing lit. So we're using some uh, royal oak charcoal briquettes. We got City of Phoenix showing up. I tell us we're not allowed to light a grill. What's up, boss? Uh, I'll let you know. I need my steak well done. If you come back, that really is what we're cooking. Oh, no, 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 we, we really are. I'm good. No, listen, we really are cooking steaks. We do, we do, uh, we do food videos on YouTube. Yeah, really. and So we wanted to shoot a park video. So you come back in 25 minutes, you get yourself no, 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 a piece no, of steak. No, Three, four, two, Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, guys. Uh, have a good one. Oh, Thank you. steak here picked it up at a local grocery store called fries which is i think everywhere else in the world is kroger or owned by kroger so we're gonna just tear this bad boy open nice t-bone one of my favorites just like how it's i just always i've always liked it got it right here probably a little off to the side or like indirect all right i got a couple of uh baked potatoes we prepped up in some tin foil and uh, we're gonna pop these guys on too, right here. Ooh, that's hot. We got some salt, some sea salt. Be pretty generous with it. And then we're just gonna hit it with some garlic. I love garlic on steak. I love garlic barbecued. And this is black pepper. And if you're wondering why I'm holding ice packs, it's because the cameras take all of about three minutes just standing in the sun before they say they're overheated. Yeah, what's up, Apple? Down. Can we fix that? Steak is on. We're going to let it go probably, I'd say, maybe five minutes, and we're going to check this guy and give it a flip. All right, so now we're just going to give it a quick flip. Hopefully it didn't burn too much. I had to lower it down. Oh, Ooh. that looks real good. I didn't bring a spatula or tong, so I just brought my trusty kitchen knife, Guy Fieri. All right, our steak is done. We're ready to pull it off the grill. It's got some great smell to it. Good, nice char. We did temp it, coming in right around 140, 145. All right, we're gonna pull this off. Here we go. See if that, uh, see if the uh, pork grill added a little extra flavor, a little more seasoning. Baked potatoes coming off. Okay. Dude, is that Fat Jesus right there? Hey, he did show up. Man, he must be hungry again. Come on down, brother. What yeah, up? Hey, you guys are committed in this Phoenix heat. You sure. know. All right, you ready to try some steak like we promised you? Wait, Fat oh. Jesus did show up. I'm trying to do this really quick so our camera doesn't overheat for the fifth, five hundredth time. Oh, it's hot. Oh, John's okay. going to hold this real quick. Cut guy. right in. Mmm. This, this is my favorite little part right here. I think here. you guys and me could be best friends. Mm. No forks, but. Yeah, I forgot all my barbecue tools. Alright, everyone. Oops, sir. Grab your piece of meat. Definitely not quite as medium as I like it, but. Hey. It's probably a little medium well, but oh, whatever. It smells good, though, Joey. Mmm. It's like steak. 
Oh my. Mm. I don't want to say it, but does the pork grill add a little bit of flavor it to it? Does. Some good steak. Oh. Let's cut into that baked potato real quick. All right, potatoes nice and cooked. Easy thing to cook on the grill. No seasoning on it. That potato tastes potato. -y. Yeah, probably yeah. definitely be better if you put a little salt on it. But yeah, grab another steak. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So this was our park edition. We met up with uh, Fat Jesus again. He lives nearby. And uh, this was a little bit more of an awkward situation, us standing here. We had a grill. We checked it out like a couple weeks ago. There was a Ramada right here. While we were setting up, the Ramada's gone and the Park Ranger happened to roll by. Really nice guy. And uh, he let us know that. He's like, yeah, a couple, a little bit while back, a uh, lady jumped the curb and took out the uh, Ramada. So thank you for doing that. $25,000 bill for the park there. But uh, so it made the things a little bit more awkward for us. But this was a, a fun video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And like we always say, it's always better when you make it yourself. J Bros out. Yeah, yeah. J Bros. J Bros cooking.